All right, our air quality is good and more than likely will remain that way through the day. The winds are coming out of the northeast and that's good news. But we're going to see those winds gusting to 30 miles an hour. We're going to get some cloud cover, but 88 today. Tonight, temperature's down to 62 degrees. going to be clear and mild. Winds are going to, you know, get down to 15 miles an hour. But with windows open, that's going to allow things to warm up. The heat is on for the deep south and the southeast, while the remnants of Debbie continue to flood areas of the eastern seaboard. The west, looking pretty good, except for the fires, and that's the issue right there. And we're going to continue to have that smoke in the air to the south of us. But for us, isolated showers possible Friday night. Uh, we have about a 20% chance of showers Saturday. That continues to push out with those isolated mountain thunderstorms into the Selkirks and the northern Rockies. So something to be aware of. Um, smoke forecast looking pretty good because the winds are out of the northeast and that's a clean batch of air so we don't have smoke there, fires up there and therefore we have cleaner air here. Um, that brings us to our air quality. Around us it is moderate. We're in good. We could get into moderate at times today but it's only going to be a, a little bit. All right, 88 the high, 86 Coeur d'Alene, 97 into the Tri-City. So there's still heat there and Lewiston at 99 degrees. So our planning forecast, well, it's upper 80s for today and tomorrow, 90 for Saturday and Sunday. Now, 87 is a normal high for this time of year. So we're right there. Um, 86 on Monday and then cooler than average. Tuesday, Wednesday with the highs 83 both days. Overnight lows from the low 60s down into the mid-50s for next week, and that's going to be pretty nice. We'll continue to keep you up to date right here. We appreciate you watching, and of course, we have weather updates every 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Peterson, 4 News Now and the First Alert Weather Center.